Hello, okay, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I've had a very busy week. I've been to six different thrift stores, although I didn't film all of them. I had a friend from out of town for the past five days. I've got a lot of items here that I need to get processed and cleaned and priced. And I still need to go spend some time with my booth. So in order to, I guess, get along the process, I decided to throw my hair up in a messy bun and show you all the items I've picked up for the past couple of days. Um, there might be a lot of start, stops and starts to this video because I just need to kind of get my act together as I'm showing you the items. So one store that we went to is called Home Again Consignments in Vicksburg. And I know the owner, Abby, for um, a long time. That store has been around for 20 years. So if you have a consignment store that you've been able to uh, successfully run for 20 years, you're doing something right. And I did talk to her about setting up um, some time to come in and film the store. And she said, absolutely. I didn't film the shopping trip because I was with four other people and um, it was just kind of hard to do. But I'm just gonna show you, I just grabbed a couple of things there. Um, it was more about the socialization with my friends than it was a shopping trip. But I did pick up these two threshold, nice size wood candle holders. Um, they are originally 15 a piece. So to get them at a consignment store price, um, like they're just thresholds, so I probably will repaint them even though they're in good shape. Um, but I just think, you know, an interesting color, these might do a little better in my booth. And then this was an amazing, really good like shadow box. Oh, the ring, it is morning. And this is the west side of the house. So all the sunshine's over here. So I did need a little extra light, so I apologize. But this was a really good shadow box. I'm just keeping it for a future um, craft some kind of idea but you know when you get these at um, a consignment store price you gotta pick them up and then i picked up more books books and frames are my weaknesses obviously but um, i am gonna have like a pet shelf and i thought this book first of all the title i do have a very naughty dog but when you take off the cover it's really pretty this like two-tone cream and black i do love cream and black together I think white and black is a little stark but it's bad dogs have more fun and it's true they do and then this was a beautiful again take off the jacket but look at the inside isn't that beautiful um but what a great green and then i picked up one more book from home again's consignments and this is more for my personal bathroom i don't if you haven't seen my man bathroom i'll show you the book and then we can go into my man bathroom <laughs> but <laughs> Look at this cute outhouses of Alaska. And I love the blue color. I have a lot of blue in that bathroom, but what a cute little just, I guess, read while you're in the bathroom. But I'm gonna put that in there as display items. So come along with me and I'll show you the bathroom real quick. Okay, so here is the man bathroom. And this is what we call it, the man bathroom. I've got a lot of little men theme vignettes and then this was all thrifted so i thought this book would be cute somewhere oh, it's showing up super bright maybe right there but i had to pick it up for just a couple of dollars so the other step that i didn't film uh, we were in and out we had about 15 minutes before we were going to meet a friend cindy for lunch and i didn't see any signage on the front of the store. I tried to look it up. It's on Main Street and Three Rivers. It's either called CZ's or Country Closet. But when we were in there, the woman said that the new owner was actually there. So maybe she's going to change the name again. And it was just in and out, like quick 10, 15 minute thrift. But I wanted to show you the few items that I, re I picked up there. Look at this cute little spoon rest. This old rooster spoon rest. This was, um, oh gosh, like a resale. Um, store where everyone had their own booths kind of like what I'm gonna be opening soon and then this cute little puppy I think this is just a Hobby Lobby puppy but he was too cute to leave on the shelf and then another little vintage rooster I've got to start finding other farm animals but this was a cute little rooster maybe succulent um, I don't know else you put a toothpicks that'd be great with toothpicks in a kitchen so he's a little worn but that's because he's old and then this item I actually picked up for myself as well. Um, this isn't like vintage or old, 
but I just love this little creamer. I don't know if you've ever seen my um, little display cabinet back here that I have all different kinds of creamers, but um, there must be a set of these. We looked them up with different patterns on the outside. Hold on one second and I will show you the one I already have. So right here, I have this cute little owl, and now I've got Lily of the Valley, which are my favorite flowers. So I guess that's gonna be a new item I'm on the hunt for. Again, not particularly old or expensive, but just cute items that I really love in my little creamer cabinet. I'm running out of room though. I might have to um, maybe upgrade the size of that. Okay, so I dropped my friend off at the airport, and while I was waiting around to make sure that her flight took off, on time and because I don't get up to Grand Rapids very often, I decided I would hit up some stores while I was there and there was a Goodwill, I believe it was on Craft Avenue, that wasn't too far from the airport. So I figured I'd duck in there and see what I could find. And one item I picked up was this giant, look at the size of this, candle holder. Um, it is a little nicked up so it needs a quick repaint job just the sand and a, and a new paint job maybe take the shine down a little bit but wouldn't it be great like next to a fireplace or i mean if it's on your coffee table you just got to make sure you can still see your tv but um couldn't resist that and then i found this shelf i mean it's not a particularly glamorous shelf and it is press board but my booth is kind of set up around a existing chimney stack. So I've got a couple little interesting small corners I'm working around. So I thought that would be great. And even if I don't use it in my booth, we can always use more um, storage as um, thrifters who always have a stash. This, you know, for, it was $7. So for $7, that was a great pickup. And I loved this teak, like cheese board. I'm not sure if this one would have had a um, cloche on it. There doesn't seem to be like a big enough rim, but I love the colors. It's um, by a company called Dolphin, and it does look like a very old sticker. So, oh, I just noticed one of the little feet are off, so I'll have to replace the feet so that it sits properly. And then frames, I'm a sucker for frames. I don't know, is there like a Frames Anonymous Club out there, but I did pick up some nice frames, just a really good size. I really liked how chunky the wood was on this one compared to the size of the actual area where you could put something. I thought that was a nice contrast. And again, these had the proper where you could hang them vertically, horizontally, or set them on the shelf. So had to get those. And then I found this little, like, Oh, Shofu Garden Tools. They're new in package, um, but I don't know, for just a couple dollars, I don't know if I would use them myself. I thought this would be a good way to get into like my um, pots or, I don't know. I mean, just for a couple bucks, maybe I'll keep it in my stash. If I don't use it to resell somehow, I will just keep it for myself. And then I picked up, this Goodwill did have a lot of new items. Um, so I picked up a lot of these little birds that are ripe for a makeover. They have seashells, and in Michigan, we really don't have seashells this size. So um, just when I have some downtime and I have a little chance to breathe, I thought these would be cute little projects to work on for my booth. So that was the first Goodwill, and um, I'm going to show you what I got from the next stop, which was Salvation Army. At my unexpected Salvation Army stop, I did pretty well. I was driving by and for a nanosecond, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna stop because the Salvation Army's down here. I'm not having good luck. The shelves are literally bare. Go back and check some of my videos. I'm not sure um, why, but anyway, I decided to stop and I'm glad I did. I picked up some more great chunky frames um, just to have on hand. And I love these little Creamers, I mean, they're not extremely expensive. This isn't like a Ray Dunn or anything, but I just thought it was a sweet little cream. And I've, I've actually have a few, so I thought maybe those would really look nice on my coffee themed shelf. And this is a newer piece, but look how cute this is. You put like all different flowers, just like single stems in there and it's filthy. I don't know if you can see how dirty it is, but even the sweet man that checked me out said, that is such a cute piece. So. 
Um, I got confirmation that I was right to pick that up. And I am thinking about having like a patriotic um, vignette at one time, probably right before uh, Memorial Day, depending on how my existing pieces sell. But I found these cute little cups and they were they were a really good set. So oh, maybe I'll separate them and cheap and cheap them <laughs> and price them really inexpensively or sell them as a set. Either way, I just thought that they would be a good addition to um, that theme vignette. And then oh, I thought I had picked up a um, McCoy piece for a second and it's not, but I still love the colors. In fact, do you wanna do another bathroom tour? <laughs> I might actually keep this for myself and switch out a piece that I have in my guest bathroom and um, maybe sell what was in my guest bathroom. Hold on, I'll show you. I think you've got to see what I'm talking about. I hope you like bathrooms. <laughs> All right, so here is my guest bathroom. And I have this on the back of my toilet to hold essentials, but it's a little big. And I've got this really pretty actual McCoy piece over here. So maybe what I'll do is swap this, sell this in my booth, and put this item in here because it's got feet. And the problem is sometimes this sits on water and I'm afraid it's going to damage it. So, all right, there's the tour of my bathrooms in case you were wondering. All right, so... <laughs> Now we're really good friends because you've seen two of my bathrooms. So the last item I found at Salvation Army was this really cute pitcher and bowl made in Jamaica. I haven't seen very many items made in Jamaica that aren't souvenir pieces. But um, what, what do you think these are? Are they peppers? I don't think they're pumpkins, but I just love the colors. I just thought that they were such happy, bright colors. I had to pick up this item as well at the Salvation Army. So, so glad I stopped there to um, check out their shelves and found some good items. One I think I want to keep for myself. Okay, I stopped at a, another Goodwill and it was very similar to the first Goodwill that I had stopped at that day where there were a lot of new items and um, unless it's something I can make over, I'm not really that interested in buying new items. That's not what my intent of my booth is. But I just picked up this as a little organization for my paints and um, some of my items that I remake over. It, I mean, sort to, to get organized with actual bins and storage, it's expensive. And um, going through slot paint all over it, you get kind of mad. So... That was just a couple bucks. I thought that would just help me if I ever have time to sit and get organized. And then I found this sweet little set. What is that called? I know there's a fancy term when something is supposed to look like wood. I know Martha Stewart said it many times. And there's there are no markings on it. But I mean, it looks vintage. And I just thought, I mean, look how tiny the lid is. Isn't that the cutest? I mean, for olive oil or oil and vinegar, I'm not quite sure, but I had to pick that up. That truly does look like a vintage piece to me, which is what I'm on the hunt for. And then I found a couple just like metal plates and, oh, that was loud. These two glasses that I'm going to set aside again for when I'm um, ready for my patriotic um, themed area. And then my daughter is hosting a bachelorette party in a few weeks for her best friend that she's known since, gosh, I think third grade. And because they have a lot of new items, in this case, I was happy to pick these up. Just some little fun items for her and her friends to enjoy while they're up in Traverse City celebrating um, her best friend's upcoming nuptials. And then the last place I stopped at were the Goodwill bins. I had never been to the Goodwill bins before. And um, I've seen them on YouTube, so I was curious. And um, yeah, it was <laughs> it was quite the scene. Uh, I just it was crazy how many people like knew when the bins were coming out and what to do. And I basically stayed away from the real chaotic area. Um, a lot of them were clothes, and I'm not interested in reselling clothes. I'm interested in nice clothes for myself to resell. As you can see, I mostly wear like t-shirts. <laughs> um, 
But so some of the fine things I found at the Goodwill bins. First thing was, let me grab this. My daughter's a teacher and I found this great map. I think this map ended up costing like 22 cents because it goes by weight. So I could say no to that anytime I can help her out. And you know, this, whatever the price was to write on this or for whatever, this I just thought was a great pickup. I couldn't say no. And it wasn't ripped or anything, which I'm shocked. And let me grab the bag for the rest of the items that I got at the Goodwill bins. Okay, so the first thing that I spotted in the bins, and I can't believe no one picked this up because this is a super heavy, but well-worn, like mission style little end table for $2. I was afraid this was gonna be by weight, but she said it was $2. Um, pretty easy to take apart. I was kind of surprised for this kind of assembly, the fact that it is as heavy as it is. I mean, this this is actually wood, so that was a nice surprise. So this will be a great little par project piece to have in my arsenal as hopefully some of my larger um, furniture pieces sell. And then I picked up, thought this would be great for my kitchen kit shelf, these fondue um, sets. They don't quite all match, but we just did fondue uh, at a Super Bowl party. So um, maybe I'll just hold on to these for Tracy. So next time she hosts a fondue party, we have plenty of fondue forks. And then I thought this kind of went along with this, this very dirty little glass. Um, it's not really, I don't think it's, what's that called, a cruet? Because it doesn't have a spout. But um, needs a good washing, needs a good bath. But look how old the rubber is on this. So um, what I found interesting there was they actually weighed the glass items and separately and you got a different price for glass items than everything else. Books, furniture, and glass items were all done on a um, separate scale. And then just a great old vintage wooden spoon to put in pictures. I'm hoping that will sell well. And then as you can see, I found another cute little creamer in the bins, no chips. This one was in good shape, so let me grab this one. I was thinking these all just kind of lined up. If you show people, you know, how to display these, they might be inspired to pick them up and use them in their own decor, the way you show them. And then I loved this metal tray. It was made in England for Avon, which was um, interesting, but I like the paint job, I mean, it's a little dirty. And then, oh, I just noticed this, it's kind of worn here, but you know, if you're displaying something on, on top, if I sell it at the right place, hopefully someone will fall in love with this for their like shabby chic or grandma cool decor. And there's stuff everywhere on the table in front of me. Oh, all right, I saw this little case and I was like, what on earth is this? Look at these glasses. I mean, these are old. I can't believe they have been sitting in the bin and no one picked these up. I mean, I don't know what's the resale or interest in this. I don't know, but it was just such a neat little piece. Great little shelf sitter for somebody. And then I did it again. Frames, nice big chunky frames. It's just nice to have those on hand. And um, picked up some song books, some old vintage like music sheets that I want to have on hand. I've seen um, Yvonne at Ginger Trick Rehab make some really cool art pieces with songbooks and um, dried flowers. So I might steal her idea because they are really pretty. In fact, maybe I'll mail one or two to her because the price was right as a thank you for inspiring me. And then, oh, I picked up some just big bag of votive candles because it's great to use, take these apart and use the wax when you're trying to distress a piece. So, you know, for less than a dollar, this is great to have in my craft area, which needs to be organized. And then um, <laughs> I found some books. This book I thought, again, aren't the colors beautiful? It isn't, I don't think it's that old of a book, but it's called Shell Seekers, which I am going to, have like a lake theme vignette, although we don't have a lot of shells here in um, Michigan. I just thought that was a really pretty um, book. And then this book, 
I had to laugh at. It's called Dress and Look Slender. Um, <laughs> I guess old t-shirts is not the way to go, but I just thought this was such a fun book. <laughs> so, you know, maybe for the fashionista, or if you have a friend that's a fashionista, this would be a good pickup for them. And then the last item I'm gonna show you in this haul is a lamp. Um, hold on, I've got to get this down so I can actually video this lamp. Okay, this lamp was sitting over in a corner all by itself. Look at this amazing lamp. It's almost a gray and I believe this is the original paint. I don't think from looking at it that anyone repainted this. I mean, this this is old. I'm gonna ask a friend if maybe I should rewire this before I put it in my booth. But I was thinking with a light bulb and maybe a black shade with some gray beading on it, just one little um, cute shade here. But that was an amazing pickup, $2. Couldn't say no. Actually, it goes kind of nice in my dining room, doesn't it? No, 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 I've got to sell it. I've got to sell it. Well, thanks very much for sticking around and watching. I wasn't planning on taking you into my bathrooms for a tour. So thanks for coming along for those as well. I'd love to hear your input and your comments if there are items that you think I should have left on the shelves. And if um, you're enjoying this content, please give me a like or subscribe. I am trying to post videos about twice a week. But um, as I get closer to booth opening, I'm not sure I'm going to have time to keep doing that. And um, your feedback and your comments really do help keep me motivated. So I'm going to scoot off now and go wash these items, get them priced, and maybe go spend some time at my booth today. I hope to show you a tour of the progress of the booth and of the stores that comes along. So until next time, thanks so much.